in the case. Oh, what's up? We respond to a shots fired call. That is Antonio Blue. Yeah. Yeah, that's Antonio, right? Wow. 26-year-old Antonio Rowe Jr. was born and raised in Mobile and was a rising star in the local rap scene. He leaves behind his mother, his father, seven siblings, and a five-month-old daughter. He's a known drug dealer. I was the initial detective on the Prod gas station case in May. Six months ago, Antonio and his cousin were shot outside a gas station. Antonio suffered three gunshot wounds, but his cousin was killed. I told him in May at the hospital that this was going to happen to him if he didn't stop. It's just sad. Yeah, that's great. It's a vicious cycle. His father was involved in drugs and was killed. I saw him take his last breath. And now I'm investigating his son's homicide. Mm. Five years ago, while Rogers was in patrol, Antonio's stepfather was murdered in a drug deal gone bad. The drug gang only ended in two ways. You know, that's jail or you know, the break. What was he hitting? He was hitting the outside white thigh. That's the one that probably killed him. Antonio was shot three times in the leg, back, and hand. They can they have a gun. Beside him, detectives find a 9 millimeter gun. How many fire cars is there? One, two, three. 14, 15, 16, 17. Damn. The casings are all 223s. Looks like a rifle of some sort was used. We have some money spread out. Pieces of torn money. Shut Pretty Inside the silver Nissan. So you sell it. That's that stank. Detectives find a bag containing marijuana. That's probably his phone. And Antonio's cell phone. He was most likely out here to do a uh, dope deal. 